Here's all you need to know about the U.S. debt default crisis. Since the U.S. debt reached $31.4 trillion in January, the government has been trying to raise the debt ceiling, meaning to allow the U.S. to borrow more money. But the issue is that it's been spending more than it can pay off. To avoid a debt default of the world's biggest economy, meaning the failure to pay off the debt, Republican U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy proposed to increase the debt limit by $1.5 trillion and cut down on government spending. U.S. President Joe Biden and McCarthy are currently at a crossroads as Biden wants to increase spending while McCarthy wants to cut it down. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned that serious economic costs would ensue if the bickering continues between the president and the speaker, and she is given a deadline to decide by June 1. But what happens if the U.S. does default? In this case, consumer confidence in the financial market would be dealt a huge blow, as higher interest rates could move money away from developing infrastructure and healthcare, and pension payments may stop, while loans and borrowing costs for homeowners increase and consumer prices go up. Even investors around the world would be forced to sell American treasury bonds, which would heavily weaken the dollar keeping in mind that over half of the world's foreign currency reserves are held in dollars. So a debt default in the US means another massive economic crisis for the world. Yellen declared that the Treasury is considering extraordinary measures to avoid a default, which has never happened in the US since the borrowing limit has been raised 22 times between 1997 and 2022. The House passed a draft deal, but if Congress doesn't act quick, and the U.S. defaults on June 5 for the first time in history, American economic power as we know it may change for the worst.